Hello girls and boys! Today I'm going to tell you a story about some animals that wanted to eat yum, 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 the moon. So let's start. Let me introduce you the animals. Elephant. Giraffe. Zebra Lion Monkey Fox And last but not least, mouse. Every night, the animals sat around the fire and they had dinner together. They liked to sing, la 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 la, dance, and they looked at the stars. But when they were tired, they went to bed to sleep. So uh, the lion went to sleep. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, bye bye. Good night, everyone. The elephant looked at the mouse, and the mouse was looking at the sky. What are you thinking of, Mouse? I'm looking at the moon. Elephant, what do you think? The moon? What does it taste like? Mm -hmm. I would like to know. But uh, anyway, I'm going to sleep as well. Bye bye, Elephant. The elephant thought, well, Mouse, will never reach the moon because he is very small but I'm very big I'm going to get the moon the elephant went to the highest mountain he stretched his trunk but he couldn't reach the moon it was too high in the sky so, as he needed some help, he decided to call Giraffe. Come on, you have to call Giraffe as well. Giraffe! Giraffe! Where are you? Here! Giraffe climbed. She stretched her very long neck like this. But she couldn't reach the moon. It was too high in the sky. They decided to call Zebra. Zebra! Zebra! Where are you, Zebra? Here! Do you need some help? Yes! Okay. Oops. Zebra stretched but she couldn't reach the moon. It was high in the sky. They decided to call Lion. Lion! Come on, you have to call Lion as well. Lion! Where are you? Help! Help! Here! Lion climbed on top of his friends. He stretched but he couldn't reach the moon. It was high in the sky. They decided to call Fox. Fox! I can't hear you. Come on, help me. Fox! Fox! Where are you, Fox? Here! Fox climbed on the top of the animals. He stretched. 
but he couldn't reach the moon. It was still too high in the sky. They decided to call Monkey. Monkey! Monkey! Help! Help! Come here! Monkey climbed on the top of his friends. He stretched his arm. Uh, oof, almost. But he couldn't reach the moon. It was still too high in the sky. So they decided to call Mouse. Mouse! 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 Help! Come here, Mouse! Mouse climbed on the top of his friends. He stretched. Yes! He took a piece of the moon! Yes! And he went to the fire to celebrate. All the friends were happy. Monkey, fox, lion, zebra. They were all very, very, very happy. Giraffe and elephant. They were so happy. <laughs> they had the moon and they were going to eat it. So Mouse shared the moon with his friends. He gave a piece to elephant. One for you, one for you, one for you, for you, for me, for you, and for you. The moon tasted like their favorite food. Yum, 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 yum. For the elephant, it tasted like apples. Mmm, yes. Mmm, delicious. For the giraffe, the moon tasted like orange. Mmm, so the giraffe. Mmm. For zebra, it tasted like strawberries. Mmm, delicious. For the lion, it tasted like meat. For the mouse, it tasted like cheese. For the fox, it tasted like fish. And for the monkey, it tasted like bananas. Wow! They ate the moon and it was delicious. So they were very, very happy and they went to sleep. And that night they slept a lot. And snip, snap, snout, this tale is told out. Bueno, ¿os ha gustado? Os voy a hablar en español para que vuestros papás y mamás me entiendan. Os voy a explicar un par de variantes de un juego relacionado con el cuento que hemos visto, que tiene que ver con las comidas. Como habéis visto, todos los animales, eh, cuando probaban la luna, les había su comida favorita. Así que vamos a practicar con un juego relacionado con comidas. Para ello necesitaremos un par de carteles, uno como este, que bueno, en realidad tendría que salir al revés, pero bueno, se entiende un tic verde y otro con una cruz roja. Los pondremos a poder ser en dos espacios de la casa que estén un poco separados y que no haya obstáculos entre medio de ellos. Y así, por ejemplo, uno allí y otro aquí. ¿Vale? Entonces, eh, utilizando unas canciones que podemos encontrar en los recursos que, que se colgaron en la página web, los recursos de inglés... Que bueno, es un poco largo de explicar dónde los encontraréis, pero es más fácil si estas son las canciones. Ups, se han salido también al revés. <risa> bueno, son unas canciones de, super, de un canal de YouTube llamado Super Simple Songs, 
que empiezan todas por Do You Like. Son cuatro diferentes y podéis utilizar la que más os guste. Eh, el juego consiste en poner la canción y una vez escuchéis la canción, cada vez que se diga Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Habrá que ir corriendo, corriendo, corriendo a este símbolo. A todo lo que sea, yes. Es decir, sí. Y cuando se diga Do You Like, lo que sea, y se diga en la canción No, I don't. Habrá que ir corriendo, corriendo, corriendo a debajo de este cartel, ¿vale? Eh, otra variante del juego podría ser eh, la cual conocen muy bien los niños de tres años, que yo lo sé, <risa> sería eh, coger alimentos, que ya conozcamos el nombre, como por ejemplo los que hemos repasado en el cuento, apples, oranges, strawberries... etcétera, y eh, hacer unas cartulinas, eh, o bueno, o incluso con el objeto en sí, el alimento real, y eh, mostrarlo cada vez, el padre o la madre, o bueno, como veáis, mostrarlo, cantando la canción, empezando, do you like apples, por ejemplo, y entonces, corriendo, corriendo, si nos gustan las manzanas, habrá que ir aquí o aquí, Aquí, efectivamente. Habrá que ir corriendo aquí y decir Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Mmm, yummy, delicious. Pero si, por ejemplo, decimos Do you like strawberries? Y no nos gustan, habrá que ir corriendo, corriendo, corriendo a este otro cartelito y decir No, I don't. De Jackie. Bueno, espero que os divertáis mucho y, <ríe> y muchos besos. See you. Bye bye.